my husband and I really love to go driving. We prefer road trips, but on the weekends or nights, whenever we have nothing better to do, we usually just go cruising and just drive around. We prefer smooth and not busy roads. On this particular night, we were really bored and decided to go cruising. We went up north to a small town about a half an hour from the city where the roads are really curvy and smooth. This town is pretty close to the mountains, and if you follow this particular main street all the way up north, it starts driving up to a mountain. It's about 9pm and there are very few cars in the road already since it's a small, nice little cute town. But we keep going north, away from all of the houses and stores, and eventually where the roads start curving uphill. We drive for about 15 minutes more and it's pitch black when we see some blinking lights. As we get closer, we see that there's a truck on the side of the road facing us. I'm getting the chills thinking about being all the way out here in the middle of nowhere and there's a stranded truck on the side of the road. As he slowly approaches closer, I tell my husband that it's probably for the best to just turn back and that I had a really bad feeling. But at this point we're pretty much right next to the truck. As he pulls up next to the truck, a young blonde guy, maybe in his late 20s, comes around and gets next to our window. I get such a bad vibe by this, and I tell my husband not to put the window down. I think that he also gets a weird feeling, so he actually listens to me. He kinda just loudly asks what's wrong, and the guy says something along the lines of something's wrong with this truck, and that he might need a hand with it. His phone is also dead. My husband asks what happened, but the guy just insists on showing him and to come take a look. He says it very friendly, and he even calls him bro, and he says that he's really glad we pulled up. My husband tells him, You know what, man? I really won't be much help. I don't really know anything about cars, but let me call someone to see if they can help you with this. The guy is insisting, and he gets visibly upset. I'm looking back at the truck, and I thought that I caught some movement inside of the truck. I tell my husband that I really think we need to go. Like, now. He probably saw the look of fear that was all over my face because he then put the car in reverse, but as he did that, the guy is now right behind our car. He's acting really stressed out and rubbing his face and kind of pacing. So my husband decides to go forward instead. We drive up for maybe about two minutes, trying to find a place to turn around since the road is so narrow. The road turns to a dirt road and there's a little more space on the side, so he's able to turn the car around. I'm absolutely dreading going back that way now, and our phones have no signal at all. In my mind, I mean, I know that this could all really be someone with car problems. Maybe there's a friend in the truck too. I mean, he never said he was alone, but I just can't help the really bad feeling that was in my gut. We soon reached the area where the truck had been, but there's no truck at all. We then drive down maybe another 5 minutes, but no trace of the truck, and we're absolutely sure that we passed the place where it would have been. Like I said, we didn't drive up too far to begin with. I'm both relieved and absolutely terrified that the truck was no longer there. I mean, if it really had broken down, how did they get it to work again in such a short time? Calming myself down, I'm telling my husband, hey, maybe they really did get it to work. Maybe it turned on all of a sudden and they were able to drive off. I mean, it's suspicious, but not impossible. As we keep driving though and the roads are straightening out, we notice far off the truck with all of the lights off and it's parked to the side again, and we notice some movement in the bed of the truck. I say out loud, Why did they turn off all the lights? I think that we're still way too far away to see them, but we see two figures get on the other side of the truck and then crouch down as if they're trying to hide. We get closer and my husband floors it. As we drive past, the two men get up. One of them the guy we had spoken to and the other someone else with a very surprised look on both of their faces. One of them runs behind us for a bit and we see them getting tinier in the back. I keep looking back, absolutely terrified, but it's dark back there now, when all of a sudden I then see the headlights turn on in the truck. They then start driving in our direction and very fast. My husband keeps going fast and eventually we finally lose the headlights. I keep looking back the rest of the way so scared that they're somehow still following us. Maybe they turned off their lights again and we just can't see them. Anyway, 
After driving for a very long time back to the city, we try to convince ourselves that no one's following us. We decide to call the non-emergency line and give them a description of what we saw. No, we didn't get the plates of the truck. It was all so fast and in all of the fear, I just really didn't think to get them. We give a description of the guy we saw and the type of truck it was, but there was really nothing else that could really be done. Now, I realize that all of this could probably be rationalized, but in the moment, we were absolutely filled with terror. I mean, being out there in the middle of nowhere and all the possibilities. They could have been armed. They could have put their truck sideways on the road and left us with nowhere to go. They could have put something out in the road to rip up our tires. And even though it could all have some sort of explanation, there's still so many questions. Why couldn't he tell us what was wrong? How did the truck work again so fast? Why did they turn off all of their lights and why did they hide? It's been about a year and it's just a creepy experience now. We still go cruising, but we usually just stick to a little more civilized areas now. That is, at least for nighttime cruises.